This one mainly goes out to my buddy Brad. They're uh, gonna attack this on to the end of that video with the gates, but <clears throat> here's my little TMR mixer. And I finally got this thing out of the weeds down there and brought it up. Uh, it's raining too, so we can't do much else. And so we're trying to do a little shop work and stuff around here. Um, I was gonna put this on a PTO, but what I'm thinking is, is I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put a 10 or 15 horsepower motor on here. That's what was on here before. Um, for the simple fact, if I, then I can put it behind a UTV, a pickup truck, whatever I wanna put it behind and uh, pull it. Um, I've actually got a, a 10 horsepower motor that has a shaft sticking out of it. Plus it has a little hydraulic pump on it. Um, it was used for like a, a port of power or something that the power company had. Um, but anyway, I'm thinking I'm gonna stick it on here uh, and then that'll give me hydraulic power also to run my gate. Um, but anyway, I don't know anything about the speed. If anybody knows anything about how these things run, I'm uh, what speed it needs to be at. Uh, I'm just going to put a motor on there with a small four or five inch uh, um, pulley on it and start there and see what happens. Uh, I do know that I've had this case off before. That's all gear reduced, but I'm not sure at what speed that's supposed to run. Um, so if anybody knows or would know where I should look, leave a comment, please. Because uh, I'm interested. I, other, other than that, like I said, I'm just going to have to put something on there and, and see how it works out. But see, there's slides there to tighten the motor. Uh, also, I'm not sure about how to do work a, a clutch because uh, I really don't want a belt tightener. Um, I just don't see how that's going to really work out the best. So I'm not sure about that either. Just some things to ponder on there. Some... Uh, question I'm going to need to get answered but anyway this is a it needs to be cleaned up but this mixer hasn't been used much it's just been setting out uh, there's little holes if you can see them on that is where uh, like sections from a from a mowing machine or hay bind goes and bolts onto those and chop up your hay uh, I'm going to take these bars out and then I can raise my um, spinner with my um on the loader raise it up and spin hay into this just a little bit i know that it's not going to take much a bunch of dry matter i, I understand that but you know just to roll, unroll a little bit in there and let it chop it up um maybe a little bit of uh baleage i'm not sure yet i'm trying to figure out some way to chop that stuff so i can put it in a tmr ration but the only way i have right now is just a uh an old chopper, an old 717 chopper, uh, and that's not very handy. But anyway, poor people have poor ways. Here's the uh, lights. I've got eight of these lights I picked up a couple years ago. They're they're in this barn that we're under now, and uh, there'll be uh, four of them placed in that uh, the new barn down there on top, and uh, four down below when we get it built. So anyway, guys. Have a good one.